The Whiskey Dot Buzz crew goes to Kentucky. My name is Mark Bylock, I'm the author of The Whiskey Cabinet, and this is Jamie Johnson, co-host of The Whiskey Topic, Glenn for Jameson, lawyer and photographer, and of course, Matt Mark, who is responsible for all the video. On this episode, we learn how to pour expensive barrel-proof whiskey from Buffalo Trace's legend, Freddie Johnson. So the way it works is those solids actually go into the barrel to mix with the saps and rosins in the wood. So they're actually present in your bourbon, it's just that under normal lighting you can't see them until you do this. And then if you look down near the bottom, it looks like a snow globe. Get that? So barrel proof bourbons are loaded with these suspended solids that you felt on your hand. The term for this is called wisping. Gently rotate the bottle a little bit, bring some of them up, now you can really see them. Okay? When you go into a real nice restaurant or a bar, watch what they do. One thing they will never do is just pour you a drink. They're paying $125 a shot for packing. I'm not going to just pour you that drink, shove it in your face, and move on to the next customer like you don't exist. All right? I'm going to make you feel good about the drink before it even touches your lips. I get the bottle down. Oh, Glenn, this is an excellent selection. You know, this bourbon comes from Buffalo Trace Distillery. You read Buffalo Trace Distillery. Did you get that tour guide, Freddie? I hear Freddie's a pretty good tour guide. I, so I've got Glenn feeling good about the drink, but at the same time, when you order an expensive pour, you look to see how much you get. And what it looks like, I'm giving you an extra shot or two while I talk to you. What I'm actually doing is discreetly shaking that sucker up. Remember, those older age bourbons sit on the shelf for an extended period of time. People keep them at home for a long time. They only bring them out on special occasions. So all you need to remember is when you bring those bottles out, the solids have been settling, okay? Gently rotate the bottle. You can't store a whiskey like you do wine, so the cork is drying out. That's why people twist the tops off of corks of old bottles. All you have to do is tilt it to one side, gently rotate the bottle, moisten the cork, cork comes off, multiple pour. Every drink will always taste the same. Bourbon does not go bad in the bottle. Cool? Unless it's in direct sunlight for about five minutes.